Welcome to the country. It's met to the lake this morning. Beautiful morning here in western Oklahoma. I'm aiming to catch me a fish this morning. You know, I've uh, kind of gave a list of my top three lures, top four, and um, this lure right here has got to be probably number five on that list. And that would be a Blakemore Roadrunner. You know, I've caught countless numbers of fish on a Blakemore Roadrunner. And uh, when we started making our own underspins, we just quit buying Roadrunners. And part of the reason why we started making our own underspins is because how expensive the Roadrunners were. You know, we come out here and fish with them and, you know, you lose a lot of them. And I think they were a dollar and something a piece back then. And, uh, like I said, we just quit fishing with them. We made our own. But this one was in my dad's tackle box. Brand new, still in the package. And I put it in the truck. I was going to come out and fish with it. And I just hadn't. Taking the time to do it. So this morning, I'm going to tie this guy on, pitch him around out here, see what I can run into. I've also got another handmade lure, one I covered up a couple of days ago. I'm going to throw it around a little bit this morning, kind of test it out and see how well it runs. Is this guy right here. I'm going to be throwing the Another handmade, hand carved lure in the Blakemore Roadrunner this morning. Because you never know what you're going to run into when you come out here. So let me get down there into the water and then I'll be right back. I got one. I got that one. I got him. I got that one. Hey, what for you? All right, I did it. Look in his mouth right there. I did it, guys. I did it. Look at that bass. Hey, the Roadrunner got him. The Roadrunner got him. My dad's Roadrunner. Look at that. What a pretty fish this morning. Look at that thing. Man. That was a cool deal. That happened right in front of me. Came up and nailed that thing. Look. That is a pretty fish. Not a blemish on that fish. Look at that. Perfect little bass. Let this guy go. He may grow up to be a giant one of these days. That was cool. I was bringing it in right next to those trees right there. And he came up and nailed it. I'll see if I can do that again. Tell you what, guys, ever since we got into September, it's almost like somebody flipped a switch. My numbers have went way down.
caught some really big fish so far this month. Which is a good thing, but the numbers are are way low. I come out here and fish a couple hours and catch one or two fish. I don't know what it is. I figured you know, we started getting into these cooler temperatures in the mornings. It's been in the fifties. There was a fish, bluegill. It's been in the fifties a few mornings. There was one. I don't think that was a bluegill. Dang it. <laughs> when you finally get when you finally get one, take it, or hit at it, can't catch him. I don't think that was a bluegill either. Pretty sure that was a bass. He came after it now. I got him. I got him. I got him. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm talking about right there, guys. Oh, yes, sir. Right there. I did it. I fished around this whole bank. Look at that fat, chunky bass right there. Look in his mouth. Roadrunner. I missed him over the first time. He came back and got that thing. That was cool. Hope you guys seen that out there. He came up and destroyed it. Look at that fish. Just a perfect little bass this morning. Nice and fat. Look at that thing. This guy's been feeding up. Man, that was fun. That was a cool deal. Finally got me another one. I'm going to let this guy go. He may grow up to be a giant one of these days. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the morning. I'm all out of time. Managed to run into a couple of fish with the, with the road runners this morning. I really thought I could come out here and put some numbers together this morning with this guy, but you never know. You never know what you're going to run into when you come out here, so it is what it is. Anyway, I'm going to go home and get me something to eat. Take a nap. See what tomorrow brings. I'm sure we'll try to get up and get back after tomorrow somewhere. Do something. But for now, I want to thank you guys for watching.